Hello, my name is Neil Bennett, Senior Enterprise Technical Support Advisor. Today we talk about Change Other 6.7 and how to export and import the coordinator configuration in searches. When discussing exporting and importing, we'll be covering four subtopics export the change other coordinator configuration, export the change other searches, import the change other configuration, and import the change other searches. We'll now cover our first topic, export the change other coordinator configuration. Here we are in the administration task tab of the change other client. This is where the coordinator configuration information is stored. Here we have the SMTP configuration, as well as group membership expansion settings. If we click on the agent, we can see the agent configurations that are assigned to each server. And with those configurations, we have the indicators showing which templates are assigned to the agent. Moving to auditing, we can see which templates have been created within Change Auditor. By clicking on a SQL Server, we see our two SQL Server templates that we have created. And if we click on File System, we have our File System template that we have created. Now that we've reviewed the types of data that's in the coordinator configuration, we'll export it by clicking Action, Export. Here we have all the options where we can choose what we want to export from the coordinator configuration. If we choose the coordinator settings, we're warned that importing would overwrite the existing coordinator settings. The same thing occurs for application user interface. Other options, such as audit events and templates, are just added if you imported them to a new coordinator. You know most options are checked by default, you can uncheck them if desired. Once you decide on what settings you want to keep, go ahead and click OK to complete the export. This will build our Change Other Configuration XML file. Once it's complete, we'll be prompted for a location to save it on the computer. In this case, we'll save it to the desktop so we can easily find it when we want to import it later. Once you've found a location to save the file, just go ahead and click the Save button. This brings us to our next topic with exporting and importing. Export the Change Other searches. Here we are in the Searches tab of the Change Other client. When we click the Private folder, we can see an example search that has been created to demonstrate the settings that are exported with the search. If we click on the Watt tab, we can see it reports on the event User Account Locked. If we click on the Alert tab, we can see an SMTP alert has been enabled for the search. Click on Configure Email, and we can see that the alert is sent to the administrator. Moving to the Report tab, we can see a report has been enabled and is sent every Friday at 12 a.m. It is also configured to be sent to the administrator. The attachment is a PDF and the time zone is set to Atlantic. Now that we have verified our settings, we'll go ahead and export the search. All the searches within a folder can be exported by right-clicking the folder and selecting Export. In this case, we only want to export one search, so we'll right-click the individual search and then click the Export option. Once we click Export, we then prompt it for a location to save the XML file. In this case, we'll also choose the desktop as a location to save our file. We'll then click OK, and then click OK on the confirmation box. This will bring us to our next topic, Import the Change Other Configuration. Here we are in the Administration task to have the Change Other client. None of the settings are present because we've created a blank database to connect the Change Other coordinator to. The SMTP settings are blank, and if we click the Agent, we can see that the Agent configurations are all set to default. As well, we can see that no monitoring is set up for our SQL. If we click Auditing, we see the only template that's available is a best practices template which is created by default on any change other installation. We will return to the configuration menu and then coordinator so we can see our settings as it gets populated by the import. We we'll then click action, import. We can then locate and select the change other configuration XML that we exported previously. Once we highlight it, we click open. We will then prompt what settings we want to import. Most settings are checked automatically. In this case, we will also want to check coordinator and application user interface we will be prompted and warned that the coordinator settings will overwrite any existing coordinator settings. Once you selected them, we'll click OK. As a note, the import does display what domain the import was taken from. Once we click OK, we can see our settings begin to import. As they import, you can see them populated in the background. When we reach 100%, we know our configuration has been imported successfully. We can now see the SMTP configuration populated on the page. When we select Agent, we can see our agent configurations assigned and we can see the SQL auditing enabled. If we click auditing, we can see that there are now two SQL auditing templates populated. And finally, if we click file system, we can see that our file system template is populated. This brings us to our final topic, import the change other searches. Here we are in the searches tab of our change other client. We see that the private folder is highlighted and there are no searches populated. To import our search, we'll right click the private folder and then select import searches. Once we select import searches, we can then browse to and select 
or XML file that contains our search. The name of the XML file is to the unique identifier used to identify the search in the database. Once we click open, we can then see that our search is populated. We will highlight the search and verify the search properties below. First, we'll check the Y tab and verify the user lockout event is still populated. We'll then check the alert tab and confirm that the alert is enabled for SMTP and that it's being sent to the administrator. And then finally, on the report tab, we can see that the report is enabled and set to be sent every Friday at 12 a.m. and to be sent to the administrator also. This confirms that all the search settings were preserved through the export-import process. This concludes our video on how to export and import the coordinate configuration and changes.